What is happening guys? This is Brian with NeverSafe.com and today we're going to incline bench the log. It is definitely a unique lift because it's not an incline bench and it's not a log press. It's kind of a horrible mixture of them both. And the log definitely makes it a little bit more cumbersome. So hopefully I hit something heavy. Sometimes this goes really well for me, but because of the cumbersome nature of the log, it's really tough to find the groove. Hopefully this goes well and leads to bigger overhead press numbers. But we are about to find out, so let's get after it. What is going on guys and welcome to the commentary. So what you guys are joining me for is my maximum effort upper day where the variation was the incline log bench press which you're seeing right here. Now as I stated in the intro, the incline log bench is a lot tougher of a movement. Number one because the log doesn't allow you to have the same type of dexterity that you would with a regular barbell. And number two because of its nature, you had to set it up from a dead stop. So you are pushing off your chest from a dead stop, so you get zero stretch reflex in the movement, which definitely means that you're gonna be pushing less weight than you would if you could unrack it and bring it down to your chest. As I'm sure many of you already picked up on, I'm doing pen lay rows prior to my pressing movements. The reason why is I believe that doing a pulling motion in the same plane before your pressing movement will really help keep your shoulders safe a lot of people have shoulder issues or shoulder impingements or problems would completely alleviate those if they just did the pulling motion prior to their pressing in the same plane of movement. So if you're doing a bench press, you should be doing a row variation. If you're doing an overhead press, you should be doing a pull-up variation. That will get synovial fluid in the joint and keep your shoulders feeling better for a longer period of time. So you should give that a try. So what you're actually watching right now are my top three sets on the log incline bench press. This is 355 and what you're gonna be seeing is me getting my breath up top before I slide under the log, I'm still holding it, and then you see me push up and then I'm searching for that groove. So there's different variants of speed throughout the movement. That was 375 and then I threw in the 25s to get 385, big belly breath driving up, searching for that groove, find it and lock it out. That's definitely a PR for this gym and I was super happy about it. After that, I wanted to test out my foot but the gym was a little bit too busy for something like yoke walks. And we already had this sled set up from the truck pulls the day before, so I thought I'd give it a try. The sled itself was 205 pounds and the course, as you can see, to the barn and back is approximately 200 meters with different varying levels of incline and decline. So as you're starting out, there's a slight decline up to right before the barn where you get a steep incline. Then you get that sharp downhill coming back, hopefully carrying some speed, and then you hit this super long incline, which makes you want to die. And as it turns out, that was a little bit too much for my foot, probably because of the incline nature and the weight I was in some pretty bad pain with my foot and then spent the next half an hour walking from side to side of the gym out the doors to dry heave until the puke finally came. Those are terrible. That definitely went better than I thought it was going to. So the 385 on the incline log bench press is definitely a PR for this gym. I have hit 400, I wanna say, but it was on a different bench, on a different setup, different log, so I don't really know that they're comparable. It is, it is warm. Honestly, guys, I wish I would've had more training footage, but I just ran out of time. I wanna test out my foot by doing a sled jog with 205 pounds, and as it turns out, that was a little bit too much. Foot was definitely screaming after that sled drag and the sled drag itself was horrendously hard and I was definitely in a lot of pain afterwards. I don't really know where this puts me medically or what my next move's gonna be. I think most likely I'm just gonna try testing it a little easier next time. I'm hoping to do a little bit of a different video coming up next, so it might be a small bit delayed, because this is my birthday weekend, and I think I'm going to be spending it out in the Appalachian Trail, hiking the entire time. So if you guys don't get a video this weekend, now you know why. But I hope you guys are doing awesome, and I will catch up with you next time.